Welcome everyone to the Capital One Center for another night of LHB hockey. We have a, a big playoff matchup in the first round of the playoffs. Game one and two between the first seed um, St. John's Aviators and the four seed California Drought. We will be back in just a couple of moments for puck drop. All right, welcome everyone for the St. John Aviators against the California Drought, California Drought here in the Mile One Center XML. We got the uh, the Drought in the third uh, seed here against the Aviators, who were not able to beat the Charlotte Shipwreck for the first seed. And we'll go through here with the lineups real quick and go over some stats for the first line on the Aviators. We're going to be having uh, star forward Luke Kuziga there as the winger and Sammy the Whale and then Orange Yoshi, Locke, Iso and Curtis the dog for the second line there uh, goaltending situation for them Rayson, uh, uh, Rackin Rayson, I don't know, is it Rayson? Uh, it's Rayson, yep it is Rayson, so Rayson will be in net unless Annoyed shows up we don't know what the situation Annoyed there is projected to start, but if he does not he has not made it uh, then yeah of course will racing, racing will start who had and he's been having good, yeah yeah very good performance from him in his uh few games played but he had yeah, a very good very night good uh, a couple a week or so ago 
playing for that first seed, those uh, all important matchups we had recently, uh, where the shipwreck just bested the aviators for those final spots. Yeah, and then for the drought, we got Jets, uh, Zekro, and Alex Zanar, and then for that first line with transports, uh, APAT, ARAX, uh, Drew as well for that second line with Claydew in the net. So uh, three goaltenders if Annoyed were to show up, but otherwise it would be racing against Claydew here. And uh, they both had pretty decent seasons. We'll start with Claydew. He had six wins and seven losses. You know, didn't go positive in the win-lose ratio, but he had the most or the second to most shots against 157 shots, one less then Rydog, who had uh, who was starting really for the Belleville Blizzard, and a point seven uh, seven two six save percentage, pretty good in terms of uh, you know uh, the LHB, and, and a he, three point three one goal shots, chance average. He, he still managed to keep it a seven two six, like you said, save percentage, and that's quite yeah. good, honestly. For racing with not oh yep. sorry. No, <laughs> Racing with not many games played since he got picked up really late in waivers. Having three games played only, but still 23 shots against, seven goals against, a nice uh, 2.3 goals against average, and just below a .700 is a .696. Not too bad from him. Obviously, one win, two losses, but still uh, starting out in the LHB, not too bad. Annoyed, five wins, four losses. Uh, not many shots compared to uh, racing in terms of the shot ratio. 74 shots in nine games. Um, yeah, not that much. But 19 goals against a 2.11 goals against average, a 0.743 save percentage. So a little bit higher than Claydews, but uh, we don't know if he'll show up tonight here. And then for the top 10 in leaders, oh, four members of the drought are in the top 10 in standings. Jets with 16 points, Transports with 14, APAT and Alex, Amar, Alex and R with 13 points each. And then Luke, the 10th in points, the last person in the top 10 is the only one on his team there. The, the Aviators are not really known for, you know, their goals for their almost last in goals for, I think they're right above the Greyhounds. But in terms of, uh, you know, their team is very defensive. You know, Luke, a good two-way forward. Locke and Sammy the Will, pretty two good uh, defensive defensemen. And they have the least goals against, I'm pretty sure. And, yeah, we'll see how, even though lots of these drought uh, players are in the top ten in points, if they're able to get past these, you know, this defensive team. Any thoughts on that, Cookie? I agree. I, th I think it'll be a close one here, though San Jose definitely had a better season overall. Let's see if California can keep up with them in this game. We're underway here, Luke. Wins it back, I think. Now it's in the neutral zone. Alex and R. Had the puck for a second. Luke now trying to get past Zekro and Jets. Zekro is able to hit it into the neutral zone. Sammy the Whale off the boards. And he shoots that one. It's a save there by Claydew. Jets now. Off to the blue line. He's now on the far side boards. Going around the net. Fighting over that one with Luke. Trying to get it to the slot. Zekro's there in the slot there for the drought. Koozie God clears it to the neutral zone. A pass there by Alex and R2 intended for Jets, but Sammy the Whale able to pick that one up. Jets receiving another pass. It's taken away by Luke. Luke now trying to look for a shot there, but he puts it towards the near side boards. Alex and R trying to get a pass. Curtis the dog who changed out for... Uh, Changed out for the Aviators as both teams are starting to make changes. APAT. 
Out towards Arax. Arax tries to get past the dark lock. Lock puts it back to the neutral zone twice there. Transports. A shot saved by Rayson. As Annoyed hasn't shown up still, we'll probably see him in game two. That's his first save. He holds it for a whistle. A very quick back and forth you see going here in the first. Neither team really getting much going. Just kind of a lot, a lot of turnovers and only a handful of shots on each side. Curtis wins the draw as it's still in the aviator zone. Now in the neutral zone, Transport's trying to give that one out to APAT. The Dark Lock trying to retrieve the puck. Curtis holds on to it, though, and it's back to the Drow. Apat to Arax. He loses that one. Transports putting it back to Arax, trying to get past the Dark Lock. He hits it towards the far side boards. Arax trying to get it to Transports there. He loses control of it. Curtis the Dog fighting over with Transports. Now it's on the far side boards here in the neutral zone. Transports. Loses control of it. And they're still on that far side boards as the Aviators are making changes now. The first line back out. Same with the drought as Jets. A nice turnover there. Almost having a chance, but Sammy the Whale puts it towards the near side corner. Zachro in the slot. He almost had a chance, but fans on it. As Luke turns that one over from a Alex and R. And he almost had an opportunity. Jets, though. A good uh, two-way play there by him, getting back to the puck. Jets able to get past, uh, gets past Luke. He goes for the shot. Oh, he fans on it. I thought he was going to be able to get a chance there, but unfortunately whiffs. Now on the far side boards, a shot saved by Rayson. Didn't count, though, as Alex Anar, a shot at the blue line, denied by the defenseman. And now here's Zekro with Curtis. He's locked away and it's kept in that far side corner. Oh, a nice shot there by Curtis. I don't think he meant to do that, but obviously on the goal line, it's hard to make that tough enough shot. A save by Claydu there. Orange Yoshi with a nice shot. Receiving that one from Curtis for a whistle. In a game like this where we don't really see a ton of big names we don't we don't have a Birdo or a Clifford out here on the ice it's going to be this game is going to come down to uh big opportunities and so far California's wasted a couple a nice pass out of the corner from Jets that got whiffed on by Zekro I believe and then Jets whiffing on one himself and then a big save by Claydew just here at the other end indeed Claydew lucky with the iron on top of him able to hit that one away for to prevent a chance for a rebound there, but Curtis almost gets past Transports there. The lock clearing it back into their offensive zone. Curtis losing control for a second, passes it to Yoshi. Yoshi maintains control to the slot, but nobody's there for it. Arax will hit it away. A shot scored by Lock. What a goal! I was not expecting that far side. And the Aviators. Yeah, I don't think so either. And the Aviators take the lead. That was a puck thrown out to the corner by the California defense. No, it was Orange Yoshi threw it across. California tries clearing two defensemen on him and Locke shoots it through both of their legs and a little bit of a screen for Claydew. He had no clue that puck was coming on net. A nice shot there by lock his second goal this season only getting one goal in the regular season and that gives the aviators a one goal lead here in the first period jets on the near side boards trying to pass it to the blue line to zekro there but lock with a nice tap of the stick there able to keep it out of their hands luke now behind the net Trying to kill a bit of time. A shot there by Zekro wide. And Kuzigod losing control of it. Still kept in the corner. Zekro trying to put that one to the slot. It's hit by Kuzi. Almost goes to Jets, but he's not able to get a shot off. Alex Anar to Zekro. A shot blocked by Sammy the Whale. A huge defensive play by him as he has a chance here. He goes for the pass. Kuzigod 
wasn't able to get it. It shoots right over him. And that one's out of play with 1.9 seconds remaining. Could not connect with Kuzi there. The Aviators do a good job in their defensive zone of breaking up some of those dangerous chances. Obviously, California trying their best, but have not been able to successfully at every time. And that's the end of the first. A nice shot there off the faceoff by Luke, but wasn't able to up their lead. It's 1-0. Aviators lead. I don't think... Probably... All right, we are back for period two. We weren't able to get an interview with the Dark Lock for reasons unknown, but either way, the Aviators up 1-0 against the Drought here at the start of this second period as we get underway with Jets and Luke at the faceoff. Luke is going to win the faceoff here for the second period. Jets... Gets control of it, but Luke tries to go for a pass there to the slot. Was denied. Still maintaining control of it. Alex and R trying to clear it to the blue line. Sammy the Will keeps it in play. Now Jets in the neutral zone trying to get past Luke. He loses control of it, and now Luke behind the net. Luke, a pass out to Sammy the Whale. Alex and R is able to get their first pass intended for Jets, but goes... To the Aviators. Tries to pass that one back to Jets. But now Jets getting a free puck there. On the near side boards. Luke loses that one to him. Zekro almost had a chance to get that one to Jets. But Kuzigod was there just before him. And now they're battling it behind the net. In the corner. Zekro looking for Jets. Hits it off the boards. But it's not 
to his teammate there. A very slow shift from both sides. No shots there. As both teams goes for changes. Transports. Out to Zekro, but he's already going for a change. And uh, the drought. I don't know what's going on there, but nobody's going out on the ice. And Arex doesn't have a stick, but Transports. A huge turn over there. He wasn't able to get a shot. And I don't know what's going on with the drought right now, but this is a good chance for the Aviators to uh, get this puck in the other zone and try to score a goal. Curtis receives the pass, a shot, the blue line saved by Claydu. He almost went into the net. He almost went into the net after the glove. Very dangerous play. Like I said, Claydu, that shot off the post, and he nabbed it, kind of trapped it uh, on the post. And and almost walked backwards into the net. You gotta be careful there. Those are those are the kind of goals you cannot be giving up in a playoff game. Curtis, a shot save, goes for the rebound, blocked by APAT. And now a whistle in their zone. Finally, we see some shot blocking from the drought. Uh, unlike on that goal that was scored by Locke, shot through two guys, unblocked. APAT now in the far side corner here with Luke. Luke, the first line here for the Aviators against the second line as, uh, as there's been some weird changes by the drought. Arax though now with a stick, goes for the pass to APAT. It's denied by Sammy the Whale. Sammy the Whale pass Alex and R trying to get past Arax, but he's not quite able to. APAT puts it to the neutral zone and goes for a change. Kuzi. Out to Sammy, a shot scored by Sammy the Whale! What a shot at the blue line! And the Aviators take the lead 2-0 now with 2.33 remaining. And this is a great play, Luke. Takes it off the boards to Kuzi. Passes it right up, Sammy the Whale picks it up and a rip from the blue line beats Clay to, uh bottom blocker side, I believe. That is a great play. Probably something they've uh, worked on a little bit in practice that neutral zone regroup and send it up to whoever their top player is up front. And there was Sammy the Whale, and he did not miss. Luke will win another faceoff here against Jets, and it's now back in the drought zone. Kuzigod hits it towards the near side boards towards Luke. Luke will carry this puck around the net. He loses control of it to Alex and R and Sammy the Whale trying to pass it up to Luke Heel. Uh, you looked like he was going to carry it there, but then dumps it. Now Sammy the Whale again. No pressure there from the drought as Sammy the Whale has a lot of space now. They all group up and are able to prevent him. And here's a chance here for the drought. Denied by Luke. Like I said, the most defensive team in the league. And they're doing a good job here as... Sammy the Whale will hit it out of play. That's now a dangerous face zone or face off in their zone. I think they needed a whistle for a line change. They were scrambling in their own end, but that is not the way to do it. A face off win by Curtis. Locke will lose control of it to Arax. Arax, who had a very good end of the season, looking to score a shot. Saved by Rayson. Second shot of the night there by the drought. Unless that one didn't count, but that's glove for another whistle in the aviator zone. They'll stay strong through two shots and a dangerous uh, almost breakaway play there. It was a good play by Arax. A little bit of a flip over the defense. Transports a shot wide. Racing will glove it and I guess he's just gonna hold on to it. He had time to play it. 127 remaining here. A pat against Curtis the dog again. Curtis has been doing a good job. I mean, the Aviators as a whole have just been winning majority of these faceoffs here. A pat will win it. A shot saved by Rayson. The lock able to clear that one out of the crease. Transports off the boards. Another shot saved by Rayson again. His fourth of the night. He's holding that one for a whistle. That's what makes a goaltender great. You know, it doesn't have to be all the flashy saves. He's just in position through those 
through some of those screen shots. That's two right there, back to back, through, probably through a screen, and he's in right position to make those saves. Curtis the dog receives a pass, a shot saved by Kledu. Off the boards from Arak. Another shot right behind the blue line. It hits the post, and Kledu's able to glove it. A Pat around the net with Curtis. Curtis has room. He goes for the shot instead of passing to Isosceles. Now Arax running out of stand will have to go for a change after dumping. Sammy the Whale at the blue line loses that one to Jets. Zekro now at the far side boards. And wow, what a what a weird play. Jets hitting Luke and it goes off his head and out of play for another faceoff. Now in their zone, it's very dangerous for the drought as it's one left and Kuzigan gets a shot, but it's blocked. Another shot blocked again, and now it's on the near side boards. Zekro losing his, oh my God, he lost control of it. And that could have been dangerous as another dangerous shot. The iron saves Clayton from a third goal for the Aviators. In the neutral zone, Luke. Out to the blue line. Alex Sonar able to hit it towards the board. Zekro now puts it out in front for Jets. A shot saved by Race in there. That's save number five for him. Another shot wide as that's the end of the second period. 2 nothing for the Aviators. California, I think they're starting to get a little low on Stam and they got a little bit scramblier in their own end. They were just kind of running around, not really sure what to do. And it gave up a couple really good opportunities for uh, St. John's. And then St. John's gave up an opportunity and they took it right back the other way. And a big stop by Rayson. All right, we have an interview with Curtis the dog. All right, Curtis, it is now 2-0 here. We'll give one quick question as, uh, you know, your team just doesn't want to interview. Uh, how are you guys feeling heading into the third period? You know, uh, I think we're feeling good. Uh, we definitely want to lock down defensively on the second line, though. We let up a few good shots last period. Indeed, but how about your goaltender, Rayson, who's the backup, annoyed, not showing up? What's up with that? Uh, pretty sure he fell asleep, but uh, Ray is doing a great job. <laughs> All right, sounds good. He has been doing a pretty good job. Best of luck here in this third period. All right, I gotta play. 
Do you think he's yep. a real dog? Of course he is. <laughs> That's aggressive, um, honestly. <laughs> yeah. All right, now the aviator's up to. There's that quick interview from Curtis, who was uh, lined with the Dark Lock, who made that first goal in period one. Let's see if Rayson's able to pull off his first shutout in his career's fourth game ever. Well, now you first playoff you. game. Okay, my my bad. Eh. We'll we'll see though. Yeah. They have been doing good defensively. Luke now loses control of that one. Zekro in the neutral zone loses control of it, and he's struggling a bit. He'll go for a pass. A turnover by Luke. A shot scored by Luke. What a goal! Oh my and a god! Bad play by the Trout. It's now 3-0. Zekro got too fancy in the neutral zone and turns it over with a weak pass to Alex. And Luke takes it, and it's an absolutely outstanding shot from just above the circles. Wow. Yeah, that is not a good way to start the period. Only 31 seconds in, and Luke, an unassisted goal with a, a bad play by Zekra. I don't know what he was trying to do, and can't, maybe can't he communicated the pass. Again. Yeah, you just got to go do the – you just got to stick with the basics here. Quite Jets, simple. a pass to Zekro. It's denied by Sammy the Whale. A nice poke check there. Another one. Two poke checks there. Now Jets and Alex and R fighting over the same puck as Sammy the Whale. A high stick for a whistle. Okay. I did not see a high stick, but I guess. I guess West Milwaukee saw it differently from ice level. Jets loses that one, but is able to get control of the puck early. Now in the zone, Alex and R almost having a shot, but did not put enough power on that as it's cleared into the neutral zone by the Aviators. Aviators go for changes as Sammy the Whale stays on the ice, chasing this puck, trying to get possession. He'll hand it off to Yoshi, who goes after Alex and R. Apat receives the pass, but it's denied by Curtis. Now behind the net. Apat and Curtis battling over this. Apat, one of the best, most improved players so far. Definitely, um, you know, nominate, uh, what, prob most likely going to be a nominee with a few other players. And uh, he hasn't been able to shine tonight on the second line. A dangerous pass, Yoshi with a shot wide. A couple of opportunities. Yeah, a few opportunities there. Transports wasn't able to get it. A shot rebound scored by Curtis. Another goal for the Aviators. And this is looking like it's going to go game one for St. John. This is just an absolute defensive breakdown by California. They cannot break the puck out of the zone. It was, that was like five or six consecutive shots on net there for St. John's. Only a couple of them actually went up on the board, but that was just shot after shot after shot. Playdu doing all he can, but it's a bad breakout attempt and a great shot from, from no, not Orange Jersey. I believe that's Sammy the Whale. Curtis off the faceoff and passes it to Yoshi, who wasn't ready for it. Apat with a chance. He puts it towards the near side boards there. And that gives Curtis and Yoshi able to get the puck. Transports out to Arax, and that's hit out of play by Locke. It's a thought that counts. <laughs> Three minutes remaining here in the third, and the drought have let in four unanswered. And uh, we are looking to try to at least answer here with a goal. <laughs> As it's hit out of play again for a face-off in the middle of ice. Played has just been absolutely peppered this game with shots from St. John's. 14 shots on net, four against, and probably close to 20 just attempted shots. For sure is Zekro. A chance denied by Kuzigod. Kuzigod on the board. Zekro almost was able to get it. He gets it now on the second attempt. Luke. A pass out to Sammy the Whale. He carries it, goes for a shot short side, saved by Claydu, and keeps it in play. Jets out to Zekro. Luke 
Back there for his teammate Sammy, who he passes it to, and a nice glove by Playdo. It doesn't count as a save as he holds it for a whistle. A couple good saves from Playdo. Keep, uh, keep rebound attempts, I guess, I'll say. But uh, I think both were going wide, but he gloved them nonetheless and gave them back to his team. Yep. As Alex Sonar gets the puck in the corner, he loses control of it. Luke now. Passing it back to Sammy. Sammy will carry it out towards the zone as he's denied by Alex Sonar. Nice back check from him. Jets to Alex Sonar, but Luke hits it away. And he does it again as he goes for a change. Curtis now. Not, he's not going to pressure yet. He's waiting for Alex Sonar to make a move. And Arax, a nice play past Orange Yoshi, but Locke able to maintain it in the neutral zone. Apat. Out to Arax, but Locke again out of play for the second time in a row, hitting the drought bench. There's been a lot of chance of we want the cup tonight, which is surprising considering the fact that we are in game one of the first round of the playoffs. <laughs> yeah, we are not close to the cup yet. But they are winning 4 nothing, so I guess that counts for something. Locke now, back into his own zone. He hits it off the boards towards the far side. Curtis out to Orange Yoshi, transports. Nice back check there to prevent a breakaway. A Pat loses control of it. Yoshi with a shot, hits the ball, or the post, oh. not the boards. Wow. And it almost went in on the rebound, it's out. And about Yoshi almost getting a goal of his own. And he, he lets the drought take control of that one. A Pat, a nice poke check. It's off the boards in front of the blue paint and Rayson holding that. That was a with 57 seconds remaining. Weird Sorry. opportunity for San Jose off the post. It got behind Claydo. He didn't know where it was. Orange Yoshi didn't know where it was, and it was a good mm. clear by uh, I think Arax to clear that one out in the corner, and then they took it the other way. Out in front, off the iron, and oh my goodness! A Pat denied wasn't even able to get the rebound. A quick love there by Rayson. Same for another play. whistle. Off the post, he tried squeezing it in, but a good glove by Rayson, as you said. Keeps that one. A out pass to A Pat denied by Luke. A good block there. It's now oh. a two on O here as A Pat with no stam. Oh my goodness! Oh, that's a that's a brick. That's a huge brick there by Koozie God. A huge two on zero chance and an easy save for Claydu, who doesn't even get a save there again. I think he's missed three saves now. A Pat has been on the ice for a while here. A long shift for him. He'll finally go for a change with 17 seconds remaining. Jets to the blue line. And 13 seconds, Sammy the Whale. Oh, what a move by him. Almost able to get past Zekro. He lost it at the end. But now, oh, Sammy, a shot saved by Claydu. I thought he was going to get another one. But that does it. A five save shutout for Rayson. And I didn't jinx it. You did not. That was a close one. Uh, definitely got very close at the end. With a couple of those opportunities. And it would have been completely your fault if it was. <laughs> I, I don't I, I don't think that I don't think jinxing is like I don't know I feel like people are too superstitious about it and it doesn't really actually affect affect it that much but either way it, it is for it is for bullies <laughs> well either way St. John will take this game for nothing And that is not a good look as we head into the second game. A lot of uh, four goals from four different players. Locke and Curtis on the second line. And then Luke and Sammy on the first line. And this is a team that you don't think, you know, has this much depth. Like, this is a everyone thought the most... Smackdown here. I mean... Yeah, everyone knew this team would be very defensive. And obviously that showed with five shots only and... A shutout but nobody thought that this you know they would be 
this much in like with the scoring all around especially with the drought with four of their players in the top 10 and you know some of those being second liners as well well this is this is kind of the san jose team that we expected to come out um, <laughs> it's not san jose a week or two what i say you said, <laughs> oh, I you said San Jose. I, I, San, can they, yeah. go, can they move to San Jose? That would be really convenient for me if they could not be in St. John's anymore. <laughs> Actually. Anyway, the St. John's, this is the St. John's team that we expected uh, a couple weeks ago when they played the Shipwreck. This is the team that we expect to come out and have a close matchup with them, put a couple bo goals on the board, and, have, and let Rayson lock it down, but... Really, for all the defense they played in those games, six goals between the two games given up and only one goal for. That was kind of a surprising result, but this is this is what we were expecting from them, and they delivered it tonight against a California team who, on the other side, again, very surprising. Didn't expect them to get kind of blown out this badly. Thought they'd be a little bit more competitive. Yeah, uh, San, San Jose does have a nice ring to it, though. I can't lie. But um, maybe we can get an interview here, uh, as we weren't able to get one. Can we interview okay, I guess he just can't talk right now. All right, so I guess we can go on the to the next score? game. Uh, some to some less. We, we can go Good on trip. to the next game. Four nothing. Four nothing final. Mm -hmm. we will... uh, did you end it? I don't end it. You don't end it? Okay, well, I we're not yeah. going to get any interviews, we'll I guess. The, yeah, we'll, we'll move to the next game. Uh, we'll see you all on the next stream.